Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 55, man. Dang. You know, I hate to say it, but Tom Brady, he once did it again. I, You know, I. the thing is, though, I'm not going to say that I'm like, I'm going to call myself a fan of Tom Brady. But I, I, I can't say that I respect Tom Brady. I, I can't say that much because Tom Brady, just overall, his craft, like, what this man does to just the game of football. That's something I feel like that we're not going to see for a long, long time. A a long, long time. I don't really know, like, who would be up there. Because if I had to, like, put this, like, in, you know, I know, like, people, they always like to compare players to other players, either within the league or in different um, sports. But this would probably be a situation where Brady is Jordan who would be LeBron? I know they were trying to say that um, Patrick Mahomes, like he will probably be LeBron or maybe somebody else. But I'm like, yo, there's quarterbacks that like they they do their thing. They put up stats. They, you know, do all of that and stuff. But Brady, on the other hand, it's like he he does that and wins championships. <laughs> like that's what I'm like. There's one thing when you're putting up stats. But when you're putting up stats and winning championships on top of that, that's what I'm like. Bruh, like how y'all, I feel, yeah, that, that's something that just, that can't be denied. It's something that can't be looked over. I'm going to have to show my respect to Tom Brady from now on. I'm still going to root against him when he makes it to the Super Bowl. But to like after tonight, tonight, that made me realize like, yo, this man's going to go to the Super Bowl whenever he feels like it. Like if there's a year where he doesn't go, he's just taking a break. But if there's a year where he wants to go, he's like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to win every game and we're going to go to the Super Bowl. Like that's, that's it. They ain't no ands, ifs, or buts. The player's just like, but how do you know? Like preseason has even started. He's like, I'm Tom Brady. That's how we know. I'm Tom Brady. That's how we know that we're going to go to the Super Bowl. I'm all like, I'm, come on now. He was like, don't ever dis my, um, disrespect my legacy like that. I am Tom Brady, okay? He was like, what do you think the TB stands for? It don't stand for Tampa Bay no more. No, it's Tom Brady, the Tom Brady Buccaneers. Like, that's pretty much what that team should be called now. Because I'm like, bro, he he owned that team. He, like, I mean, well, I mean, you know, the players did their thing. There was the one guy on Kansas City, um, though, that was, like, number 32. What's that guy's name? That dude got some serious anger issues. Uh, Kansas City. Uh, well, I should put Chiefs. I, like, I was getting ready to put number 32. Number 32. What's that guy's name? Tyran Math- Matthew? Is that his name? Well, he got anger issues. I'm like, bro, he was getting mad at them guys. He was, then he was getting in Tom Brady's face. I'm like, bro, look, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't get in Tom Brady's face. He's like the best player in the league right now. Don't, don't get in his face. That's, that's just something I feel like you shouldn't do. So yeah, he, uh, that guy, then he was getting into it with other players. I'm like, bro, you got to relax, man. It's like, I mean, I understand like it is like a serious moment like in your career, but I'm I and that's and that's you know to talk on Kansas City, you know, but but also but to like continue what I was saying about this guy. I'm like, I understand it's a big moment in your career, but it's like you shouldn't be showing like you shouldn't be that pressed over it. You know, like this man, you would thought like he was like like his life was on the line or something. I'm like, bro, you got to relax, all right? It is going to be okay. You will have other opportunities, all right? Relax, brother. But no, talking to uh, Kansas City, though, there's, because I'm like, I can relate to you guys, like, you know, making it to the Super Bowl and then losing. And then on top, because I'm like, I'm a Seahawks fan. So we made it, what, three Super, um, Super Bowls, won one of them. And then, uh, yeah, that other one was just like, that was rigged. That one, um, that first one, we went up against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. That was rigged. It was them referees, bro. 
But uh, no, then with that last one, when we went up against the Patriots, I was like, man, I was like, you know, I feel for you guys. Like, I think everybody that's had a team make it to the Super Bowl and they lost, like, we all feel for you. You know, it happens, whether it's a close score or a blowout or, you know, whatever. But it's it's one of those things that happens. Like, especially our and the situations are similar, too, because Kansas City went to the Super Bowl that year, uh, last year, and they won. Next year, come back, they lose. Same with Seahawks. We won that one year. Next year, we lost. So I'm like, don't feel discouraged. You know, don't feel discouraged. Don't feel like that this is the end. This is like, you know, we, we ain't going to win no more. We ain't going to. No, come back stronger than ever. You guys got to be on some Michael Jordan stuff. Take this game personal, okay? Be upset. Be angry. Be hungry with the game now. And I'm like, because they're, 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 my thing is, is like, there's no problem with that. But when you give up and when you're like, I ain't got it in me no more, no. Do not. That's why I was, I was telling one of my fans that in a uh, live stream where I'm like, don't doubt yourself. Like, they, um, there's like, my thing is like, there's no more, there's no such thing as that anymore. I'm like, from here on out, doubting is no longer a thing. Do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt what you want to get into. Don't doubt what you're already into. And don't doubt what's going to happen after you're done with whatever you got into. Okay? There is no, like, from here on out, there is no more doubt. I like that. That's actually from here on out. There's no more. Yeah, I, I, I like that. Hold on for a second. I'm going to make that into a, a, a hoodie. From here on out, there's no more doubt. I'm like, uh, freaking, yeah, motivational hoodie in the works. Hold on. I'm going to just like write it down just so I don't forget because I'm like, I'll mess around and forget. And then next thing you know, I'm like, dang, what did I say earlier? And I'm all mad and I can't even think. Sorry. Hold on for a second. Let me open it up. As I'm doing a podcast episode, I'm, I'm currently making merch. Uh, dang, what did I say? Um, uh, there's no more doubt. Freaking, oh my god. Like, how do I forget that? Fa- nah, bro, hold on for a second. Let me pause this episode so I can remember. Alright, I remembered it. I remembered it. And I was like, what did I say again? I was just all like, from here on out, there's no more doubt. t Moss Boss, and I'm gonna change the font and all that stuff. So that hoodie will be coming out some point in time tonight. But it probably by the time this episode come out, it's already gonna be out, but... Anyways, um, but yeah, I'm like, yo, this ain't the end of it. Like, there's like, y'all gonna have more games. Plus, Patrick Mahomes, isn't a man like, what, 21, 20, or I don't freaking know, but he's, he's at a, oh, he's, he's 25? Who was saying that he was 20-something? Huh, dang, I, I don't even know why, I I don't know why I assumed, I thought he was like 20-something, I thought that man got into the uh, NFL like, what, two years ago or something, but anyways, um, I know they did say he was the youngest quarterback in the, um, uh, Super Bowl, like, last year, so, but anyways, uh, but yeah, I'm like, that's, you know, that's the thing, I'm like, I, I just, I'm at this point in my life where I'm like, look, if something doesn't work out, then I'm like, I gotta move on to something else, you know, or I gotta, but I felt like in their case, like with football, I'm like, you know, this is what your heart desires, this is what you want to do, like, if this is something that you see yourself doing, like up until you retire or like, you know, praying to God that it doesn't happen, but in case you get some catastrophic injury or something, then like up until that point, but I'm like, even then afterwards, it's like, you know, you still got to have a game plan for everything. You know, you got to have like plan A is what you're doing right now. Plan B is what you, everything else afterwards. So don't think for a second, like it's all over. It's like, nah, bro. Like, it's just my thing is like for you guys it's just the beginning and for those that retire get traded whatever it's like you know you got to uh just overall be a better just be a better version of yourself each and every day don't settle for anything less but anyways um yeah i'm like but uh kansas city i'm like you know it, it happens like you know you make it to the you make it that far like throughout preseason throughout regular season the playoffs and now it's the uh the super bowl you make it that far just to lose yes it is painful it, it is painful okay so don't think for a second it's not it is all right so, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, back on Tom Brady and the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I wonder, uh, is Rob Gronkowski, if he's going to come back to WWE now? Because for those that don't know, I am a WWE fan. So, 
I, I did like his energy. He he's he seemed like a funny dude. That's what I was like. I thought he was gonna when he uh scored the touchdowns though. I was all like, I thought he was gonna you know do a little bit more to it. Like I I don't know why I thought he was just gonna do some silly stuff, but most likely he is gonna be acting silly uh afterwards. So I'm like, I, I like that guy. That guy's funny. I'm like, but man, that's just that's crazy though. Like. Both of them, uh, him and Tom Brady and Antonio Brown too. I didn't even realize Antonio Brown was signed to the team until he scored. I was all like, wait a minute, what? I'm like, where did he get signed? I thought he was out here trying to box Logan Paul. I'm like, well, I mean, even though that, what was that, like last year, a couple of years ago? But I'm like, that was like the last time I heard him. I forgot all about him getting signed to the uh, team. I, didn't, I don't even think I heard about it. If I did, I must have like looked over it and then just kept it uh, moving and things. Like I didn't think too much on it, but I was all like, dang, bro. I'm all like, when you when did you get signed? But no, I remember when I heard that Ron Gronkowski when he got signed to the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I was all like, wow. I'm like, all right, I see you, Rob. I'm like, y'all trying to you know doing your guys doing your thing even on a different team. Like they just out here doing it. That's honestly what they're doing. They're out here doing a tour. First is New England. Now it was um now it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What team they gonna go to next and give them a championship ring? But yeah, because I'm like, when was the last time uh, Tampa Bay, or did they even uh, make it to, um, this, have they ever made it to the Super Bowl? That's the question. Uh, oh, wow, that's cool. Google, they went, they was like, if you search up uh, Tampa Bay, they got like fireworks going off on the screen. That's pretty cool. NFL championships. Oh, they won one back in 2003. Okay. Dang. Huh. Huh. I guess, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I must have not really been paying attention to football back then. But anyways, uh, yeah, dang. I didn't even uh, know that. Huh. Shows how much I know about football. Well, the more you know. Y'all discover, you guys can discover something new every single day. But anyways, um, but yeah, they won one back in 2003. And I was like, I don't remember. I don't really remember them um, hearing about them going to the Super Bowl any other times after that. Maybe they did and they just didn't. Of course, where they didn't win. But, um, yeah, I was all like, it's it's good, though, that uh, Tom Brady came to the um, team and, you know, got them another W under their uh, belts and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's like, shout out to Tom Brady, man. I, I always had trash talk that dude. But it was just more so because I was like, I, I was holding a grudge. I was holding like, I was holding like a friendly grudge against them. I'm like, after that year, they beat the Seahawks. I was in the Super Bowl. I was just like, I don't really want to see y'all. I don't want to talk to y'all. I just, I don't. It was funny because there was, uh, there was a customer at my job. That dude, he was super chill, bro. I was like, I know he had, had a field day with, uh, um, with this if we were going back. If I told him, if I had told him that I was rooting for a Kansas City. Oh man, I I probably would have if I had to go to well I no longer work at this job because of the pandemic. But um if I had to go back there tomorrow, oh man, I had told those guys, I've been like, look, can I just uh because I worked at a cafe, I'm like, look, can I just uh go and work in the kitchen or something? I'm like, I, I don't because there's a customer here and I I know he's gonna give me some crap about uh uh Tampa Bay winning and so I'm like I I don't uh I don't want to really want to see that customer because I, I know he's gonna do something that's gonna make me mad <laughs> so but uh nah man I was like I know he's probably at his house just celebrating right now that dude he was super chill it was funny because he was really the only one there he was honestly the only person in that whole building that supported when uh Tom Brady played for the uh um, New England Patriots he was the only one that uh was a fan and everybody else throughout that building would be wearing Seahawks jerseys, maybe some other jerseys. The only Patriots fan. And I'm like, bro, you playing a dangerous game coming through here wearing the uh, Seahawks jersey. I'm like, or not Seahawks, but a uh, Patriots jersey. I'm like, bro, you can't do that to people. You cannot do that. That is messed up on so many levels. That is dishes. You pretty much went into like, uh, okay, I, I might not say like, because I don't want my podcast to get taken down. I was about to say some gang related stuff. But I'm like, that's like you going onto a different turf wearing other colors and stuff. I'm like, you can't do stuff like that, man. But I'm like, you chill with me. I'm like, you my boy. But I'm like, yeah, everybody else, they ain't going to, you know, there's them like diehard uh, Seahawks fans. They take that stuff to the heart. They take it as disrespect. They actually will walk up on you and um, talk about what uh, set you claim. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what is you talking? I'm like, bro, I'm just wearing the Patriots jersey. It's like, nah, fool. Nah, around here you ain't wearing that cuz. I'm like... What is you, bro? You is a Seahawks fan. You out here wearing rainbow shoes and I'm like, no, nah. they're probably, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying there's people out there that's probably out that, that acts like that. I'm all like, bro, 
you got chill. It ain't that serious. Then it was funny that uh, the dude they ran out on the field. I wish they would show that, man. And that's why I started thinking. I was going to make a, a, a video t of it talking about um, on my brainstorming channel. Because I have this channel where I like talk about like just ideas that I think of that I think that would be dope. And I think it would be things that people are interested in. But no, they should have like a competition like who can outrun security uh, like the um, for the longest. Cause I'm like, but it's like, but it's like security guys. That's like, you know, that's like that can run and stuff. Like not them security guards that be like, dang, bro, I haven't done this in like what 10, 15 years now. I'm like, I got to chase this guy now. Oh my God. Like they're them security guards where it's like, they just, they don't be chasing people. They just, they just sit there and watch. They just, they wait until they come back or something or wait until a foot. No, that's what they do. They wait till one of the athletes tackle them. And then that's when they're like, okay, cool. This is when I could just come in and arrest them and things and act like I was doing something. But them guys be jogging. But I'm saying, but I'm like, no, get some like people that can run. Because I'm telling you, I will probably sign up for that thing literally every single year. Because uh, I'm like, I want, I wouldn't mind doing that. But I'm like, unless it was like a competition thing, you know, to just overall, like if it was a game, like the NFL actually, you know, was like, oh, okay, like it's cool. Like it's not something I'm going to get arrested for afterwards. So I'm like, yeah. I um I just want to do things the legal way. <laughs> I'm not trying to get arrested, sent to jail, and things. I was I'm all like, bro. And but then that's another thing that I wanted to talk on the amount of people that was there. Oh my god, bro. They had freaking Florida. It's like what pandemic? I'm like, we don't know about nothing about no pandemic. This that we that yeah. That was like that pandemic is everyone else. We we ain't there's like until they physically see the uh COVID-19 until they physically see the virus and I'm not saying like they see somebody with the virus no that virus has to have on a suit with some tennis shoes on like walk up to the state of Florida and be like I am COVID-19 like that's what it will honestly have to take in order for Florida to be have be a little bit more strict about their uh um social distancing and then like COVID uh rules and all that stuff but Man, they just, they did not care. But anyways, this is a pretty good Super Bowl. Messed up that uh, Kansas City. I honestly didn't think it was going to be a blowout. I thought it was going to at least be a close game. And it was going to be a game to talk about. But I'm like, dang, bro. I was like, okay, well, you know what? Uh, it's going to probably be like that old, um, like, what was it? A Vine video or something with that guy, that football player is all like, not going to lie, they had us in the first half. But then we came back in the second. I thought it was going to be something like that. Where it was all like, okay, they're going to come back the second half. No. They didn't. They stayed right back where they was at in the first half. I'm like, bro, y'all can't do that, man. But I'm saying, like, it's it's cool. It's well, it's okay to lose. Like, you know, everybody's gonna lose. Not everybody goes through their life winning everything. I'm like, it's saying, like, eventually, like, an undefeated, um, like, you know, team or whoever. It's like, it's just like my thing is, it's like, yeah, it'd probably be. It's a, probably a little bit more uh, harder to deal with when it's an um, Super Bowl. But I'm like, it ain't no different than losing in a regular season game or preseason or any other game. I'm saying, like, you know, it happens. People lose. So, so it's all good. Like, you know, it ain't something to trip over. But anyways, um, yeah, there's a pretty good Super Bowl. I enjoyed it. But anyways, I don't know. Probably people out there that was betting against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know they're not enjoying it. I know them people. Yeah, if y'all bet against them. And I know there was people that was betting like millions, hundreds of thousands. I'm like, bro, I would be in tears. Because I'm like, I, I was honestly, I was betting in my head. I was betting against um Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. But if, bro, if I bet money, if I bet like, let, let's say if somebody was all like, oh, uh, T-Moss boss, I'll bet you your Brett Elevens that Tom Brady is going to win. I'm like, bet, bro, this is Kansas City Chiefs. Like, they won that Super Bowl. Where was Tom Brady last year? He didn't even make it to the Super Bowl. So I'm saying, I'm like, nah, bro. I'm not like, nah, I'm okay. I bet you the Brett Elevens, my infrared sixes. What other shoes? Uh, the um, Quantum Basketball Yeezys. I'll bet you. I'm like, I'll bet you all my good shoes that Kansas City going to win. Just getting cocky and over um, and over myself, right? At this end of this game, I've been in tears crying. I called up whoever and been like, look, can we, can we just, can we talk about this? All right, I'll give you like, I'll give you maybe one pair. I'll probably give, I don't, like, I don't even know. I'll give you a, a pair of my shoes, but I can't give up the shoes that I named off. I'm like, nah. I, I, and I probably would have never, I had moved. I took all my good shoes and I just left. I like put them all in duffel bags and backpacks and everything else that I got. And I just left, fled the country, went somewhere. I heard Argentina is a nice place. There was a fan telling me you can live out there for a king and um, for a month 
for with four hundred dollars i'm like all right cool bet i'm going to argentina so but anyways uh yeah if you bet against uh tom brady i am sorry but if you bet uh um, on tom brady that he was gonna win i hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy your money uh, enjoy it while it lasts because i'm saying bro like y'all i know they're just people just right now in tampa bay they probably living it up they're all like man forget this pandemic they just them people are gonna go crazy out there so but anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, vid. Um, if, you are, if you are watching this on YouTube, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you are uh, watching this on a podcast streaming service or viewing it on a podcast streaming service, thank you for checking it out. Follow, subscribe, however it's set up for you. Uh, check out my merch store. Check out my YouTube channels. I got tons of them. Uh, what else? Yeah, check it all out. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. And peace. Thank you.